it's time to check out Padlet. So you guys will already be able to log in with Padlet. Don't worry about signing up. So you're gonna hit log in on the website and you're gonna log in with your Google Docs account. To make a new Padlet, you're gonna go up to make a Padlet. In here, you're gonna have lots of different options for what you'd like your Padlet to look like. You might wanna play around with them, but to keep it simple, I'd recommend wall, grid, or shelf. I'm gonna go with wall for right now. Okay, so I'm here. You're gonna have title and description right out the bat. They're gonna be something weird that has nothing to do with what you want. So go ahead and change those out and put your directions for your kids in the description. You can go through and you can add an icon if you would like. You can um, make your unique Padlet address right here where you can copy it and that's what you'll be able to send out. You can change the wallpaper. I like mine, so I'm gonna leave it. And you can even play with the font. Go ahead and leave the postings pretty much as they are. You can play with them if you want, but things like comments and reactions can lead to a little bit of drama. So I just don't even bother. Um, go ahead and put filter profanities on. Instead of bad words, you're gonna get a nice emoji. You may decide on your own, would you like to approve any of the posts before they're actually displayed for everybody else or not? If you want it on, just go ahead and slide it over. If you're okay with them posting as is, then go ahead and leave it off. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Then it tells me I can start posting right away. Now for kids, they're gonna go down here with the plus symbol or they can double tap and it'll open up a new one where they can type in their name if it's private. If it's a public one, I would suggest putting directions in to not put any personal information. So they can put something else for the title instead. They can write something if they want. They can upload, do links, search Google, add a picture. And if they hit the dots, you're gonna have a ton of options. So things like snapping a picture of maybe them holding their product. Maybe you're going to have them screen capture like I'm screen capturing right now to show you what's going on. They can draw, they can record just their voice. You have lots of different options of how you'd like them to show their creativity or their understanding. They can easily delete a post just by hitting the trash can. So some other things you might want to be able to do. Up here is where you're gonna have a lot of the tools you might use. Share. You can add new members. You can even have people contribute so a team could create one together and add in things, have more control. Um, under share, you can actually share it right to your Google Classroom, which is nice. Again, if you're doing something like Twitter or Facebook, those are public forums, so anyone could get into it, so then kids should not be posting anything with their private information. But Google Classroom is totally fine, and an email to families is fine. You can do a copy link to a clipboard and it'll copy it right there for you. Right now, it defaults to secret, so unless you're giving out the link, no one's going to see it, which is a good thing. You can go back into settings where you can get back to all those things we've talked about before. They're in here. So that's just my really quick tutorial on how to get set up with Padlet.